questions. Oh, good guy. Just let us know where you're from before you ask the questions, guys. Hey, everyone. Wow, it's busy in here. Hey, Paul. What's up, man? Hey. Let's go, guys. Yeah, please. Cool. Hi. Um, congratulations. I'm absolutely delighted. Ah, oh, yeah, of course I am. It was, it was, it was. You know, we knew a lot of things have to go right for you on the night and in your favour against such a quality team. You know, the standard of football, he plays such an elite level. You know, every player on the pitch handles the ball so comfortably. They work you so hard, you know, and we had to dig in. You know, we really did. And the lads done that in an abundance. Some of the blocks we made second half and stuff like that. You know, we've earned that little bit. You know, Griggy become very isolated second half. And that's great credit to Man City. They just wear you out. And it's hard for the lads because eventually you get opened up and they cut through you. And, you know, tonight, Christian's made a couple of good saves. The sending offs had a massive influence on the game. Of course it has. And we've managed to win. What happened from your perspective with the sending off? Not so much the, the incident itself, but the aftermath and what was going on on the touchline. No, I think we should speak about the game, shouldn't we? You know, we'd all have different opinions on. You know, there's a lot made of tackles and different stuff. I felt at the time it was a straight red. I don't think Pep and his bench thought it was. You know, there's obviously a disagreement there, but that's football. We're never going to agree. You know, from my point of view, I'd stand by what I originally thought. I'm sure with hindsight and watching again, everyone will have an opinion, and it's had a massive contributing factor in the game. You know, for us, it's give us a massive lift because with 11 men, eventually they do open you up and they do score goals. But the referees deemed it's a red card. That's what it is, and you know, you take it and move on. I know you don't want to talk about it too much, but the fact is that the referee got the yellow card out first and then changed his mind by the looks of things. So was there something going on in terms of, was he speaking to his players? I wasn't referee in the game, I can assure you of that. I wasn't refereeing, so I think there's four people there with the fourth official. I don't know. You know, obviously, there's other people in the ground who've deemed it to be a penalty at a red card, sending off. So it is what it is. But I think the majority of the, the sort of conversation about the game shouldn't be about stuff like that. They're just incidents in a game. You know, it's a great night for Wigan Athletic, and I think that's what people should speak about. Even with 10 men, though, they made it very difficult. They do. They, they just, you know, you watch them, you do the clips. They're an outstanding team. They represent football in a really good way. They play the game with such a, an arrogance because they're that good. They have such belief in themselves and they're a, they're a really great team to watch, but we had to believe we could win. You know, whatever way up it is, we're a League One team playing the champions elect of England. You know, the pitch played really well, it was a lovely atmosphere, there's so much in Man City's favour. You know, but we dug in, we really did, and that's great credit to my players. What was going through your mind in those last few minutes? You just shut your eyes and pray, don't you? You know, the amount of balls going in your box, you've got no. You know, we wanted to defend narrow, we know how they open you up. You know, the two centre halves were excellent to keep, but we have to have a lot of good players on the night, so. As a team, it's an outstanding night for us. It's one we should enjoy. You know, but the bread and butter of the league will come round very quickly. The only sour note is the pitch invasion afterwards. It appears from some of the TV pictures that uh, Sergio Aguero might have been assaulted by a fan. Um, Which is not right, is it? It's no. not correct. It's not. I haven't seen these incidents. So I'd, I'd rather not comment on them. You know, rather than give an opinion. But you know, with all due respect, players' safety is paramount for everyone. Fancy chances in the next round. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, when the draw was made, no one even texted each other. It was like we weren't in it. You know, and all of a sudden now it's like we play Southampton at home. I'm sure Southampton is shocked as we are, you know, because they were probably thinking how disappointed they are going to the Etihad. Fortunately for us all, you know, that game will come around. It's a fantastic game for everyone. You're a game away from Wembley. You know, what an occasion it'd be for us all. You know, we have to concentrate on the league. Now the FA Cup becomes a massive distraction, but we're in it. How do you balance that? Because obviously Rochdale this weekend, Southampton in the future. We've got a good squad. We've got a strong squad. You know, we've got a lot of good players that we can bring in. We can rotate a little bit. You know, the important thing now is for us just to recover in time for Saturday's game. You know, Rochdale becomes a massive game for us. No problem. Have you done? Go on, mate. Radio's just outside. Well done. So you get. I think he just forced you back to only naturally we, we knew that how the, we felt we knew how the game would pan out with City dominating the ball because they do it to everyone, they're so good. You know, we wanted to stay very narrow and strong and hopefully when they come in the main areas of the pitch we had numbers to defend. So you know, certainly defensively we look very sound tonight and that's you know the players deserve all the credit for that.